hello out there welcome again to this tutorial on variation in this video we'll be looking at joint variation so we we'll look at the definition if a variable varies directly and or inversely as two or more variables it is called joint variation we we'll look at the statement x alpha y z is read as x varies jointly as y and z it is translated as x is equal to k y z that's one aspect of the joint variation and also the statement p alpha n over m is read as p varies directly as n and inversely as m this is translated as x is equal to kn over m in each case k is the constant of proportionality so we look at some examples on joint variation so we take the first problem for problem one if a alpha bn that is a varies jointly as b and n and a is equal to 24 when b is 4 and n is equal to 2. a find the relationship between a b and n b find a when b is equal to 5 and n is equal to 3. in the solution of the problem if a varies jointly as b and n uh, this is translated as a equal to kbn and when a is 24 we have 24 b is 4 and n is 2 so we have a k times 4 times 2 that will give us a 8k is equal to 24 dividing both sides by 8 k is equal to 3 so we've gotten the value of k that will now give us the solution to a part of the problem so that we have a equal to 3b n so that is the first part of the solution of problem one the second part when b is equal to 5 and n is equal to 3 so a will be 3 times 5 times 3 um, 3 times 3 gives 9 times 5 45 so a will be equal to 45 so we are done with uh, problem one we go to problem two for problem two x varies directly as y and inversely as z if x is equal to two when y is three and z is equal to four what is the value of x if y is equal to six and z is equal to two so we translate this problem x varies directly as y so that's x alpha y and inversely as z as over z so it is then x is equal to ky over z now we are giving x is equal to 2 y is 3 and z is 4 substituting here we have uh, 2 equal to 3k over 4 if we cross multiply 3k is equal to 8 and dividing both sides by 3k is equal to 8 over 3 and um, we now go ahead to substitute into this to get our formula so we have x is equal to 8y so 3 times z that will give us over 3z so we've gotten the formula now we go ahead to find the value of x if y is 6 and z is 2 so when y is 6 and z is 2 x will be this can be expressed as 8 over 3 times y over z yeah so we have it as 8 over 3 times y over z that will be 6 over two you know that three times two gives six which divides to leave 
it as the final answer so that is the end of solution to problem two we go to problem three for problem three a varies as the sum of b and c and inversely as their products if a is equal to seven when b is equal to three and c is equal to four what is the value of x if b is equal to one and c is equal to three so a varies as the sum of b and c so that is a alpha b plus c and inversely as their product that will be over bc so a varies directly as the sum of b and c and inversely as their product so we we'll translate this one as a will be equal to k into b plus c over bc we now substitute a equal to 7 b equal to 3 and c is equal to 4 in this relation to get the value of k so that we now have it as 7 equal to k into 3 plus 4 over 3 times 4 so 3 times 4 is 12 this plus this is uh, 7 so we have 7k is equal to 7 times 12 you can see this 7 we cancel this 7 we'll be left with k equal to 12 having gotten k equal to 12 we're going to form our formula by substituting k is equal to 12 in this relation so we now have a equal to 12 into b plus c over b c so that is the relationship between b a b and c now we want to find the value of x if b is 1 and c is 3 so substituting b equal to 1 and c equal to 3 we have a equal to 12 into 1 plus 3 over 1 times 3 um, this will give us 12 times 4 over 3 3 divide 3 12 divide by 3 will give us a 4 times 4 gives 16 so a is equal to 16 so that is the end of solution to problem 3 so we go to problem 4 for problem 4 u varies directly as product of m and n and inversely as square root of x when m is equal to 4 u is equal to 8 n is equal to 1 and x is equal to 100 express x in terms of u n and m so in the solution u varies directly as product of m and n so that will be u alpha mn and inversely as square root of x that's over root x so then u will be equal to kmn over root x so we go ahead now to substitute m u n and x to get the value of k so u is equal to 8 so I have a 8 equal to k times m where m is equal to 4 that will be times 4 then times 1 that's n equal to 1 over square root of 100 since x is 100 um, this is 4k if we cross multiply we will now have it as root 100 is 10 10 times 8 is 80 dividing both sides by 4 k is equal to 20 since 8 divided by 4 gives a uh, 20 so we now go ahead to substitute the value of k in this relation so that thereafter we'll make x the subject of the formula so we have u equal to 20 mn over root x 
so we've gotten the first formula this formula is to be expressed by making x the subject of the formula so to do that uh, if I cross multiply cross multiplying I have u root x equal to 20 mn uh, since we are to make x the subject of the formula I want to remove this u here to remove it is to divide both sides by u so that we now have root x equal to 20 mn over u now to remove this uh, square root we need to square both sides if we square square root of x we'll be left with x square 20 you have 400 square m m squared n squared over u squared so that is the end of solution to problem four we go to problem five for problem five the energy e juice of a moving body varies jointly as its mass in kilograms and square of its velocity v in meter per second a body of mass 40 kilograms moving at a velocity of 10 meters per second has an energy of 2000 joules express v in terms of e and m what is the velocity of a body of mass 25 kilograms if the energy of the body moving is 1.8 kilojoules so in the solution of this problem we look at e varies jointly as m and uh, square of v so we have e alpha m v squared now square of v so v squared then e is equal to kmv squared but we go ahead to look for the values we are given that will enable us to find the value of k um, that will be in the second sentence a body of mass 40 kilograms which means m is 40 v is 10 and e is 2000 so we start with e 2000 is equal to k times 40 times 10 squared 10 squared is 100 times 40 will give us a 4000 k if you make k the subject of the formula we now have k is equal to 2000 divided by 4000 so since 2000 dividing 4000 that will give us half yeah half three zeros we cancel three zero two here one two here two so k is equal to half and uh, we go ahead now to substitute k in this relation to get a formula so we have it as e equal to k is half mv squared wow this is the formula for calculating kinetic energy of a moving body so now we go ahead to express v in terms of e and m so that is to say we are to make v the subject of the relation so making v the subject of the relation we can first cross multiply so we now have 2e equal to mv squared dividing both sides by m so we'll be left with v squared equal to 2e over m 2e over m we need to remove this square so what we do is to find the square root of both sides so we now have v equal to square root of 2e over m so that's the end of solution to the first part of the problem five. 
The second part of the problem says, what is the velocity of a body of mass 25 kilograms if the energy of the body moving is 1.8 kilojoules? Oh, that's multiplied by 1000 to convert it to joules. So to find V, this is E here, and this is M. So E will be converted to joules by multiplying by 1000. That will give us 1,800. So substituting them here, that will be square root of 2 times 1,800 over 25. Now that we have it, um, let me split this. 2 times 18 is 36. Square root of 36 is 6. So I have 6. I'm left with 100 after removing the 18. 100 divided by 25 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. So I just multiply by 2, which gives the velocity as 12 meter per second. That is the end of solution to problem 5. We go to problem 6. For problem 6, the time taken to serve the student's food at the school canteen varies directly as the number of students and inversely as the number of waitresses if it took eight waitresses 30 minutes to serve 120 students how long would it take six waitresses to serve 150 students we look at the question again while we bring out the mathematical aspect of the problem uh, if you take t to be time, uh, n to be number of students, and w for the number of waitresses. Wow, we can go. It says the time taken, that is t, varies directly as the number of students, that is n, and inversely as the number of waitresses. So we are taking W to represent waitresses, that's over W, then T equal to KN over W, where K is the constant of the proportionality. Now we go ahead now to substitute the value of T, N and W to enable us find the value of K. So now the time taken is 30 minutes. So we have 30 equal to, and N is 120. So 120K over how many waitresses? Eight, that's over eight. Now 120 divided by eight is 15. So I have 15K is equal to 30, dividing both sides by 15 k is equal to 2. So since k is equal to 2, we are to find the formula connecting t, n, and w before we substitute. So how do we get that? We substitute k is equal to 2, so that we now have it as t is equal to 2n over w. We say when W is 6 and N is 150, our T will be 2 times 150 divided by 6. So that 2 times 150 is 300. 300 divided by 6 is 50. So the time taken is 50 minutes. So that is the end of solution to problem six. This is the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get links to other videos on variation. Until we come your way again, goodbye.